diagnosed at the age of 23 after, after university when I first started my first job. Up to that point I was told I was a late developer, a late bloomer and nobody had mentioned my lack of sense of smell. I don't think I barely mentioned, noticed it either. I, had, I was diagnosed with slight deafness, that had been picked up at school, but that's the only thing that was on me at the time, apart from not going through puberty. So I went through school, university, with no puberty, no development at all. And every time I went to see the doctor, it was just wait and see, late developer. So it's such a rare condition, most patients have no contact with a, another patient with this condition. So it can be very isolating, especially before diagnosis, because you have no idea there's, that this condition exists and you think you're the only person in the world not going through puberty, and that affects you both physically and mentally sometimes. Getting diagnosis and putting a name to the condition, I then was given to testosterone treatment, which is the one hormone I was missing. So I've gone through all my teenage years with no testosterone, then I was given the correct dose of testosterone, then I suddenly felt, what's a normal again, but suddenly felt male. Because you then started to get more energy, more hair growth, I started looking more, looking my age. So I slightly felt better about myself. And psychologically, uh, having put a name to the condition, knowing you're not the only person out there with this condition, you're not the only person not going through puberty. And I, I was introduced to a fellow patient. It's quite a relief to actually meet something like that. At the moment there's only two specialists in this country who specialise in KS and some patients aren't aware that they can actually ask to go and see the certain specialist wherever they are in the country to get referred to the a specialist, a specialist in Kalman syndrome. Especially with a rare one like this and with the fertility treatments it's very very helpful to see a doctor who's had experience in dealing with, dealing with other patients. The condition once treated is very manageable. If you don't want fertility, the treatment's quite very straightforward because there's no other health effects of the condition. It's straightforward to testosterone, estrogen. There's no other long-term health consequences. So you can have a normal, normal life. But it's getting that diagnosis and understanding that condition. And once you're there, you're feeling better.